A number of Asian countries have imposed bans on BC poultry as the avian flu situation deepens in the Fraser Valley. For more on this, let's go to Abbotsford, where Greg Harper joins us live with more. Greg. Good morning, Kyle. Well, uh, two more farms are under quarantine this morning here in the Fraser Valley, bringing the total to four, where operations have been shut down in an effort to stop the spread of the avian flu. Behind me is a turkey farm in Abbotsford. Uh, here on the weekend, thousands of turkeys died sun, uh, suddenly as a result of the uh, influenza. About eight kilometers from this farm in Abbotsford is a chicken farm uh, in Chilliwack. Uh, Oh, just over a thousand chickens died suddenly there as well from the uh, avian flu. So two more locations have been put under quarantine, also in Abbotsford and in Chilliwack. But unlike the first two farms, the avian flu has not been confirmed at these locations. However, at one of the farms, there has been an unusually high number of chickens that have died. As a result of the quarantine, thousands of birds will be destroyed at these farms. There's all kinds of speculation out there as to the migratory bird path, and we've seen a lot of waterfowl in the area. Um, if it's an H5 and it turns out to be an H5N8, did someone carry it from the United Kingdom or the Netherlands over here? And although we haven't been able to establish any connection between the two farms, maybe we're missing something. It's, it's, it's unanswered questions at this time, but there are a lot of people looking for answers right now. We're already being proactive and, and um, testing some farms in around these uh, um, infected premises uh, to ensure that you know there's no other farms. We want to be proactive, and and CFIA is also in the process of uh, setting up zones as well. According to health officials, uh, no human has become ill from the virus. It's actually rare for that to happen. And this is a virus that poses no risk on food products that are properly cooked. Kyle? Greg Harper, live in Abbotsford. Greg, thanks for that.